Hi, hi, it's JJ Gat. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about um, Twitter Blue and my experience with Twitter Blue. I think I'm perhaps one of the few people who actually see a lot of benefits from Twitter Blue. Now, Twitter Blue, if you don't know, it's a verification system that was started by Twitter, which is a social media platform, um, which allows you to pay a fee between eight and ten dollars a month. Um, and with that fee, you get a um, blue check mark, a verified check mark. As you may or may not know, verified check marks it usually goes to public figures, celebrities, people who are well known, institutions and entities. And initially, because um, to make sure audiences and users of a platform are aware that that's a genuine. Um, official account from the entity or the person or individual or group um, because there are a lot of fraudulent ones that did steal the logos and just trick people there's lots of fraud and various different reasons um, why um, they have verification system but over the years um, the verified symbol um, became the mean more than just uh, you know just authenticating your genuineness it also became sort of a status symbol like if you got a verified check mark people took your whatever you had to say a little bit more seriously and you were elevated to sort of like a celebrity status or celebrity adjacent status by having a blue verified check mark because the standard in the bar to get one was so high and it's usually reserved for people who are pretty high profile so that's brief history of verified checkmark. So Twitter turned it on its head when it decided to offer them up for a fee. So um, when it first became available, I admit I was one of the people who used to laugh at folks who um, did verified check marks because you know it was kind of like you're paying for Twitter, ha ha ha, you're paying for Twitter, and you know you can't get one otherwise legitimately, so you're just paying for Twitter. So that was me. Um, then after a while, I started to see the benefits of it, and I was like, actually, for someone like me who's a content marketer, meaning that I use content to market products and services I sell, like courses, digital services, digital products. Um, I saw the benefits of it actually made sense. So I wasn't doing it necessarily for the, you know, where a lot of people get it for because they just want that clout. And I think that in addition to that quote unquote clout that you kind of, there is some credibility to it because when I would tweet, um, sometimes, you know, because it was a blue check mark, I do think that Twitter, as they promised, did push out my tweets to more people. So where it normally would go to a small subset, perhaps some of the people who followed me and a few people outside of that depending on how well the tweet did they did push it out to more audiences and a lot of people if they don't check quickly or they're scrolling through the phones they're not going to bother to hit the button that you can hit to see if the person who is tweet is either um has a legacy twitter um blue check mark meaning that you know from the old days when you had a high bar or if they just paid for twitter blue and that's how come they have the verified check mark most people don't do that and so you do get some credibility you do get advanced push so for those two benefits of the credibility and authority that you get and the extra reach that alone made it worth it because again as a content marketer I need my content to go to as many people as possible for free organically um, instead of me having to pay for it so those are the first two benefits of it the credibility and the reach the third benefit and I love of is the ability to edit the tweets um, that's something that a lot of us have been asking Twitter to provide for a long time like why can't we edit tweets so you just have to delete a tweet if there's a mistake on it or just let it stand so I've had tweets that were really great and before I noticed the mistake it got retweets it got responses and so I wasn't going to retweet it I was going to just leave the embarrassing error there and hope no one notices it or judges me for it otherwise if you haven't got much engagement you just have to delete it and start over now with the Twitter blue you actually get about I guess they give you 30 minutes so if you make a mistake you can come back within the 30 minutes of you tweeting you can go back and edit the tweet so that is the third benefit of Twitter blue which I like um, the second the third benefit of Twitter blue is that you get to do longer videos so before um, I had Twitter blue the limits for the for I had my limits for videos that I can upload on on Twitter were two minutes and 18 seconds which was fine I worked within that so if I did a YouTube video in which I went into teaser I would do a two minute 18 second teaser I would save that in my media studio and then I will upload that segment and then there was a way that I can add put a link to the full video and so people can see the 218 get teased and they can actually watch the full video from inside the Twitter interface which is fine but you know not everyone wants to do that and some people won't click outside and so if I knew it was a value add packed video and again as a content marketer my goal is to um, show my authority and credibility in space 
you know, to get people to trust me and know me, like me, and, you know, be interested in other products at the sale. So sometimes I just want to post the whole video. So recently I did a video and it was about five minutes long. Because I have a Twitter blue, I was able to post the entire video on Twitter so everyone can see it. Um, so that is the third benefit. The fourth benefit is that the video quality is better. We get 1080 HD quality. So here's a video that I did um, back last year sometime before I got Twitter blue. You can see the uh, quality isn't that as great as the quality of videos that post getting Twitter blue. They're higher resolution. Now you would think, okay, that doesn't matter too much. Most videos are viewed in like phones anyway, and they're close enough. However, to the contrary, as a content marketer and someone who studies social media, I do know that higher resolution all videos actually catch the attention of users that are scrolling through. They're more likely to stop and pay attention if it's a higher resolution video. And then secondly, um, the apps also, I know t YouTube, this is true for, if you post a video in 4K, we'll get you know, um, extra boost <laughs> in the algorithms than if you just post it in a standard or a 780 or lower resolution. So for the algorithm point of view, and also from the uh, audience's point of view, the higher resolution is kind of great for you. So that is the fifth benefit is the higher resolution. The sixth benefit is the longer tweet. I saw someone say that all oh, these people need to chill with the long tweets. I love a long tweet. I'm verbose. I'm chatty. So I love the ability to pack all of the thing I need to say in one tweet versus break them down into several different tweets of 140 characters and have like a thread because one, not everyone reads those threads and two, sometimes people see the tail end of a thread and they don't see the earlier part. And so the whole everything and the content and the context get lost in translation and they see a piece of a thread so with the longer tweets you get 5,000 characters which is like a freaking book so I tweeted a conference that I spoke at a virtual conference I spoke at and I was able to put all the people were in it and even got retweeted by some pretty, pretty good names because they can see all the information right there in that one tweet so I appreciate that and then the seventh thing is um you okay then the seventh thing is you get these articles uh so it's, it's only great for people who actually you know back in the day um folks used to go to twitter for news and information it was like where breaking news happened like before face you can find the information on facebook or or, or instagram or youtube or other places or even the news the twitter folks on twitter would have the news first and so because twitter was for a long time has been like the source of breaking news they have that articles and so you can follow they'll give you either um articles that were posted by people you follow or the of the people they follow so if it's people following so that's where you get the main mainstream ones is the people they follow because if i'm not following wall street journal or new york times or washington post but the people i'm following are i'll be able to get their news that way versus me having to follow them so i think that's pretty cool and the then the, and the um eighth and last part is that you can bookmark um things this is kind of like you can already put um, information and create Twitter lists um, of different content people that you want to see their tweets but with the bookmarks you actually can bookmark segments um, uh, divide up the different content and then as you see a tweet you can s bookmark the tweet in the different categories which is a little bit different and so you can go back um, it just saves you the time and hassle of having to scroll through lots and lots and lots of tweets because you have the bookmark tweets there so, anyway, so those are the eight reasons I like Twitter blue one more thing, after I recorded this, I realized the ninth thing, which is actually a supplement to um, enhance visibility, is because of the enhanced visibility, I've gotten a lot of more offers, um, solicitations to present at events, at conferences. Um, so in terms of the blue check mark, the authority it gives me has actually brought in more opportunities for me that I wouldn't have gotten without the verified check mark. So um, yeah, they started flowing in after the blue check mark appeared on my Twitter um, profile. Um, that's if it. you um, disagree, if you don't think it's worth eight dollars a month, that's fine. But for me, as a content marketer, as someone who um, makes more money, the more people that see my my content, all of these things, the extra push, the authority, the credibility, to be able to do longer videos, all of those are beneficial for me. So, if from a business standpoint, it is worth it. So. There you have it. Um, do you have any thoughts or questions? You can um, ask below. In the meantime, um, if you want to see more of my hot takes on social media, I invite you to watch this playlist here where I have a nice bevy of content for you.